Hello all, welcome to the video series of Internet of Things. IoT is where you connect any device to internet and then make it smart so that you can control the device from anywhere in the world. In this first video, uh, let us get started with the hardware, software and IoT platforms available. The most popular boards are Arduino boards. Uh, we have Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno and uh, Arduino Mega. Arduino Uno is uh, built on 80 Mega 328IC and it has got 14 digital I.O. pins, 6 analog uh, input pins and 1 UART through which uh, you can upload the code. And there is an Arduino IDE from where you can uh, develop your code. This Arduino Mega has got uh, 54 digital I.O.s, 16 analog inputs and 4 UARTs. All these Arduino boards lack uh, Ethernet facility or Wi-Fi facility. For internet uh, access, you need an Ethernet shield like this. This Ethernet shield board is built on uh, W5100 and it can be plugged directly onto UNO or Arduino Mega board. Shield is a board uh, where you can uh, plug directly onto the Arduino UNO or uh, Mega. After plugging this uh, Ethernet shield to Arduino, you can use a uh, RJ45 cable, straight cable, to connect with your router. Here I am using a TP-Link router. This TP-Link router has got uh, uh, ports for connecting clients. To one of the ports, I am connecting the Ethernet shield. As soon as I connect the Ethernet shield, the TP-Link router will provide an IP address and then you can access the internet. Here I am using an USB dongle where I have inserted a data uh, SIM and then plugging onto TP-Link router. Even without TP-Link router, you can use this type of uh, Huawei dongles which has uh, Wi-Fi capability. But while using TP-Link router, you can have more clients and more Wi-Fi range and more settings also. Instead of uh, connecting uh, Arduino to router using cable, you can also use Wi-Fi. For this, you need ESP8266 modules. There are a wide range of more varieties. This is ESP8266-01 module. This module can be uh, uh, this module is not uh, breadbo breadboard friendly so you can use this type of baseboards available where you can plug in uh, directly onto that baseboard and you can connect to the UART of uh, UNO or MEGA. These ESP devices are 3.3 uh, volt tolerant all GPO pins are 3.3 volt tolerant and power source is also 3.3 volt all this is taken care in the baseboard. You can also use this ESP boards with Nano also. This ESP boards can communicate with uh, Arduino using AT commands. Only using AT commands you can communicate with uh, uh, Arduino you know, or Mega. And then you can access the internet. This is ESP12E module uh, which is uh, uh, fixed on the base board while using this has got more power and it can be uh, uh, connected to Arduino to UART pins. Instead of using this individual ESP modules you can also go for node MCU module. This is built on ESP12E and this can be used in standalone mode. That is you can implement Arduino core onto node MCU and then use it as Arduino board and uh, develop code using Arduino IDE. For uh, IoT projects, this Node MC board is of uh, very much helpful as you do not need any Arduino or uh, ESP8266 single modules. Uh, the latest development in Node MC is ESP32. This module has uh, got Wi Fi and as well as Bluetooth BLE also. This ESP32 has got more uh, ADC pins, 15 ADC pins, as compared to the Node MCU, which has got only one uh, ADC pin. This ESP32 is uh, much more powerful as compared to, uh, compared to Node MCU. Both these boards uh, have USB capability and you can use Arduino IDE to develop code and upload, uh, upload it. You can also use uh, your mobile Wi-Fi hotspot 
you can create a Wi-Fi hotspot on your mobile and then connect your ESP node MCU to this uh, mobile to get internet ac ac access instead of TP-Link router you can also use your mobile hotspot as uh, internet uh, provider then we have the relay modules these relay modules are very important for IoT and home automation projects where you connect all your loads and control uh, from anywhere in the world there are single channel relay board 2 channel, 4 channel, up to 18, 16 channel relay boards are available these 5 volt relay boards uh, come with opto couplers uh, which are low enabled which means you provide a low ground from uh, your node MC or Arduino and this uh, opto coupler will conduct and uh, trigger a PNP transistor which in turn will uh, switch on the relay there are also solid state relays the electronic relays uh, this 4 channel relay has got uh, 4 uh, optocouplers and 4 PNP transistors and uh, corresponding LEDs also there always provide external power source for the relay board do not uh, power it from Arduino or Node MCO there is also a jumper you can see the yellow jumper uh, which connects JD VCC and VCC this is very useful while using Raspberry Pi projects you can check my uh, video on this uh, the link is given in the description below for now you put the jumper and use a single power source of 5 volt all these uh, relays uh, output is provided in a terminal connector each relay has got three uh, pins one is the center pin the pole nc is normally closed and no is normally open you always connect the load to normally open pin there are also 12 volt models uh, these modules are all high enabled which means it requires a high at input which triggers a busy 547 NPN transistor which in turn will switch on the relay for this uh, you need a 12 volt power external power source provide a 12 volt external power source and from Arduino or Node MCU you can provide a high to enable the uh, relay the high will uh, trigger the NPN transistor which in turn will trigger the relay from node MCU you get only 3.3 volt as high but uh, it will be treated as high uh, so there is no problem now let us see the connection uh, for connecting the load to relay modules the center pin is pole the NC is normally closed that is not used and uh, NO is normally open you always connect the power to pole that is uh, the power of the uh, device which is uh, used as load suppose you are using 12 volt motor you connect positive 12 volt to pole and to NO normally open pin you connect one end of the motor and the other end of the motor is connected to negative of uh, positive supply remember to make common this negative and uh, node MCU ground otherwise uh, signal will not pass through now when you get a signal from uh, node MCU to the input that is low at input this relay will switch on so the NC contact the pole will change from NC to NO so the 12 volt will pass through and uh, the motor will be on same way while connecting uh, AC load you provide the AC phase to pole and to NO pin you connect the load whether it is a heater or light or fan the other end of the load is connected to neutral you can also uh, change this phase and neutral so that phase is connected to pole but uh, always take care that while connecting AC uh, you should be very careful while handling the board the board will be live so irrespective of the supply voltage to the relay board you can connect any load DC or AC load to the relay contacts now let us see the IoT platforms which help internet of things and uh, uh, control devices from anywhere in the world blink is one such uh, uh, IOT platform this is for uh, uh, data collection processing and visualize your uh, IOT solution uh, basic blink function is free so for uh, middle to medium uh, projects you can use blink for free for business and uh, uh, dedicated applications you have to pay some pricing it supports a wide hardware including Arduino, 
నోట్ ఎమ్స్ యూ రాస్బెరీ పై అండ్ అదర్స్ in future videos we'll be using blink for our projects it uh, needs a blink app on your mobile and a blink server on cloud and blink libraries uh, should be installed on arduino uh, ide the next is the my devices kn the device support is very much limited mostly it is used for raspberry pi it is also a good uh, iot platform the third one is the uh, things board this is different from things speak the things board is open source iot platform but uh, the it is not totally free for uh, it offers 30 days trial but for business you have to uh, give a pricing and then comes the home assistant home assistant which is very useful for uh, smart home and uh, home automation projects and open hap is there which is uh, open source home automation platform where it has got a well established community built on java and then uh, domit domit c is there node red which acts as client as well as server and wide range of iot platforms are there even amazon web service and uh, google cloud also provides uh, cloud service thank you for watching